What is up you guys, D22 Games with you today, hope you're doing fantastic, and today we are going to be playing Pokemon Uranium version, because Pokemon Go is too dangerous to play if you don't have enough data, or you don't have any sense of direction. So this is the kind of Pokemon game that I will want to play, because it is in the safety of my own home, and I get to relive all the just expectations of previous Pokemon games that I played. I played Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and this is the Uranium version. Now I know there are other versions as well, but I'm too cheap and I didn't want to buy anything. So I basically went and got this version of the game, Pokemon Uranium. It's a fan-made game, so much fun, and I'm just loving the fact that it's just available for people and the great thing about this game is that you can record this game and just tell people all about it and this brings me back to the days of original Pokemon for like the Game Boy because this basically is represented by the Game Boy emulation so basically it's awesome and I like saying basically a lot because that's basically how I roll so we are going to go through and find Theo now if you don't know the backstory of Pokemon, when you started, like you know when you remember the cartoons, you remember Ash Ketchum, right? And then you remember Gary Oak, right? So basically you can name yourself however you want, and there's basically the Gary character. His name is Theo! Theo! Yes, I know. What's in my son? He ran after his crowd and won't tell me what's going on. So if he did anything to hurt him? Oh, that's how it is. So he's a weak ass and <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. A harsh list to be sure of losing his potch par win. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going too fast. I'm just skipping the text right now. Right off the bat. Still won't cry won't solve anything. Yep, yep, we know that. Theo, come downstairs right now, young man. No, that's not what he sounds like. Uh, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. You're just weak. <laughs> that isn't fair. I get the better starter Pokemon, yeah. The starter Pokemon you can get is a fire, grass, or water type. And basically, his dad's just giving him the spiel. You can't cry every time you lose a match, son, so be strong for yourself. Please be patient with my son, Theo. He looks up to you, you know. I know I'm mixing Bill Cosby with a Southern Prospector with a jazz musician, but I don't care. So, your father, Kale, is aiming to give up. I'm not going to read the dialogue. But it's basically, you get to receive different kinds of Pokemon gear. It's fun. High-tech device. Plays music and includes a map of the region. Okay, that's very helpful. That is very helpful indeed. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so we're going to keep going here. We're going to meet Professor Bambo. Yeah, the name of this guy is Professor Bambo. It's really cool. So we're going to talk about a dramatic turnaround. Yeah, he bounced back right away. A Theo. Yeah, I won't be seeing Theo again for some time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Power Plan Epsilon. Okay. Yeah. And if you don't know the story of this, uh, basically what happened in the beginning of the game is that his mother was missing after a meltdown in a nuclear reactor and his father was nowhere to be found. So now he's basically of age to start Pokemon research. And me and Theo are basically the rivals. And we're going to start our first lesson catching Pokemon. Now, here's what you do. Like, you, know, you probably remember the games. Wild Pokemon inhabit tall grass, caves, and water. And this is like one of the easiest ways to find wild Pokemon. So there's a wild Pokemon. It's a shiny monk. Okay. These are different Pokemons. Go Elatux. That's the water starter Pokemon we should have chosen. What I chose was a fire type Pokemon. And what Theo has is a grass type Pokemon. So basically, we got the better deal out of it. So we caught it in the Pokeball. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, you see, it's easy, and that's how it's done. Now, Shiny Monk are fairly easy, but if you counter a Pokemon, they're a lot harder to capture. You might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Yeah, we know about that. So, they gave us a Pokedex. Yeah, Pokedex. It's the encyclopedia that will basically update itself to new Pokemon we catch. Yep, you know the whole story. And we got Pokeballs. Oh, Pokeballs. Love Pokeballs. Necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. Yeah, exactly. What do the kids always say? You gotta catch them all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. They do have to catch them all, so it's awesome. So, yeah, it's, this, is a, this is a pretty awesome game so far. And I like the graphical representation of it because it reminds me of the old style Game Boy color games. Like, this is in classic emulation. You can get this on PC and you can download it and you can start playing right away. I'll include a link in the description so that you can try Pokemon Uranium version for yourself. It is an amazing game so far. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just 
skip this dialogue and then we're gonna start our journey so come on yes I know Theo all right yes I, okay I, I oh yeah I went to the bathroom at this part because I was playing the game and I was stalling okay there we go okay yeah, catch tons of Pokemon. Yeah, catch tons of... Yeah, we'll win every battle. Okay, you just wait and see. Yep, I know. We'll wait and see. Okay. All right. You go ahead, Theo. Get out of here. All right. So, we're going to search through the grass. Okay, there's nothing there. Nothing in this grass because we're still in a city or town area here. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into the forested area. So, we're going to see if we can go through here. Okay. All right. No Pokemon in the grass. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there's no Pokemon in the grass. Okay. So, woo! Flashback. Okay. This is Route 1. And we're going to see if we can find wild Pokemon or trainers to fight. Uh, okay. And you got running shoes. Okay, so what do we got here? You're a new trainer, huh? I just started. Whoa! Poke battle! All right. Last Lynette would like to battle. Last and out. Outen. And then there's my Pyro. I named it Pyro. So, I named it Pyro. So my Pyro is going to use the Scratch attack. Scratch. That's awesome. And then Foresight. So that's like the scan ability in this game. And then we're going to go with our Fire attack. Ember. Flame. Burn, baby, burn. And then they use... Oh, what? Oh, nice. Pyro's Flame body. Okay, so there's a burn status effect applied. So it's pretty much the same. Fire beats water, water beats ice, ice beats, actually, water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water. It's like a big circle of things. And we just did a status infliction, attack, full Odin by his own burn, we're gonna fight him, we're gonna go, press, we're gonna go do scratch again, because we like scratching. Scratch, oh, let me scratch me back, I scratch you back, and you're down, okay. I gained 62 experience points. Level 6, yeah, level 6, that's awesome. Alright, and those are the stats. And I defeated Last Lynette. Anyone could be a trainer, but people definitely seem to be suited for others. Yeah, I got $120 for winning. Sorry, girl. I'm the Pokemon Master. <laughs> well, I will be soon enough. And then you can also pick items in the level, Orin Berries. These Orin Berries are the healing items for Pokemon, so you basically put them in the berry pocket, and that's how you do it. You get to find items as you go along, you get to use them for your journeys, and you will become the best Pokemon Master in this game. So, I'm definitely excited about this. And there's a treasure chest, there's a, there's a Pokeball I can't get that usually has stuff inside it, but I can't get that right now, so we're just going to have to bypass that, and we're going to go and explore more so this is the menu you got your Pokemon Pokepod bag settings and all the other stuff and then you can save within the game so it leaves settings in your PC so that you can save it at any time and then we're gonna go past her because we already beat her beat her eggs anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and oh there's a treasure chest and there's a potion in that pokeball chest in the medicine pocket yeah we have lots of pockets, medicine pockets. All right, let's let's talk to this little goat. Sheen, Sheen. Okay, let's talk a little dog. Oh, hey, Domingo, just got a new Pokemon. Let's see how it fares. Uh oh, this little girl has a Pokemon. What? How can you have a Pokemon? You're just a tiny girl, shiny monk. All right, let's go, Pyro. Yeah, I like that. Man, this is the kind of Pokemon that we should all be playing. I mean, I'm not going to knock Pokemon Go because Pokemon Go is an awesome game, but it costs so much data. Like, I mean, it uses like at least 10 megabytes for every few minutes. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I almost ran out of data because I was playing that game. Anyways, I'm trailing off. So we're going to burn the shiny monk. Ah, <laughs> you burn. Roasted nuts. <laughs> Here we go. And then we're going to go plus Ember. Roast your nuts. Ah, there we go. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, and he used Tackle. Okay, that didn't do too much damage. And then we got a burn status on the shiny monk. Okay. Alright, here we go. Scratch. Slice. There we go. Tackle. Ow, that hurt. Oh, okay. That, that, that not, not too bad. Not too bad. Hurt me pretty good. That's okay. So we're going we're gonna to go into our... I'm not going to run. We're going to go and press Ember. We're going to burn the... We're going to roast your nuts. <laughs> I know. I like saying that. The f <laughs> 61 experience points. Okay. School kid taps it out. Burby. All right, we're gonna go. No, we have nothing in our medicine cabinet. We're gonna use the orange berries, and we're gonna just heal 10 HP. And we're gonna select Pyro, and then 
There we go. We healed our HP, and then they used Gust. The Gust was... Well, it was quite effective. It was not too bad. Then we're going to go Ember. Burn this roasted bird. <laughs> roasted bird. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have roasted bird today. Oh, you wind attacked me. You broke wind before me. Uh, oh, ow. And you were hurt by the burn. Okay, we're going to go and select another one. Scratch. There we go. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratchy, scratch, scratch. And you used the wind on me again. You broke wind again. Stop breaking wind. Okay. Ah, uh, you got hurt by the burn. And you got roasted. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, level 7 already. I'm already becoming the very best like no one ever was. And I beat you, school kid. It's not as strong as you hoped. Yeah, you gotta train more. <laughs> oh, little kids. Alright, so we're gonna keep going here. And look at our menu. The Pokedex, and then there's a Pokemon here. We only have the one Pokemon, and then you can give Pokemon your items as well. So you can allow them to have different items, and you can either give them healing items or support items or just anything that will help them evolve as well. And then there's the Pokemon info statistics, and then all that good stuff. And you can just go and explore it as you go along here. I'll be playing this game a lot more, and I might do more gameplay footage of this because this game is so much fun. And I am just so excited to be playing a Pokemon game like this because not every game you can access on your PC. I mean, you have to get like a special emulator for it, but this comes fully installed, ready to play, and so much fun to do. So I'm just going to save my progress here, and that is pretty much it. So you just so you've seen the logistics of the gameplay. We haven't actually shown you how to catch Pokemon yet because there wasn't any Pokemon to catch at the moment. But other than that, as you go along in the game, you're just going to get stronger and stronger and it'll just become more apparent as you go along. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Game on. See you later. Get fueled for life.